What's going on, YouTube? Uh, so you guys saw from the photos that I posted before starting this clip, um, <clears throat> I no longer have a toolbox. Or didn't. I am going to show you guys what I ended up picking up. Um, I no longer have a top and a bottom. But I have way more room. A lot more workspace. So there's a lot of cleanup to do. Uh, put you guys on a time lapse whenever we go to that. So if you guys aren't into that thing, I'm sorry. But I'm going to show you guys what we did end up getting. Got a great deal on them. Uh, and I think it's going to help out tremendously. And it's going to help make videos for you guys as well. So let's get out there and go take a look. All right, guys. So uh, this is the toolbox I did decide to go with. Um, it is a 46 inch Husky box. Uh, the thing is exactly what I needed. So um, I wanted something up top that I could mount my vise uh, if I needed to cut anything on or anything like that. I wouldn't really have to worry about it. I'll probably put another set of clear on here just to kind of keep it a little bit better protected. But she is very nice. Lots more space for the sockets and stuff to sit in. Has soft clothes, which I love. And all of them actually have the soft clothes. So. Right here we got six drawers that are pretty narrow, but are going to be perfect for like all the electrical stuff, the wrenches, the sockets, or not the sockets, sorry, the screwdrivers and everything like that. It does have a little cord. Come over here to the side. That's two USBs down there, and then two, four... Another two, four, five, six, technically. A little power strip. Let's feed that guy through. But, and then these big ones, which are just absolutely massive, we're going to be able to fit all the diagnosing equipment, uh, the no spill coolant and oil. Um, all of our harmonic balancer pullers and everything like that you know all the bigger items so uh i think all together it came up like 49 and a half inches with the handle so um my last box was 41 but it was double bank so i actually might have lost space i don't know we'll see once we get this thing in place and uh get all the tools and everything in it so um yeah that's just the quick little overview i'll put you guys on time lapse uh get it put up where i want it to be and start putting tools in it so let's get to it all right so i don't know if you guys have detected the non foolery so i actually would have lost space if i only got one right so um, i got a lot of tools a lot of tools so I did something a little different. I got two of them. I did, they actually have two different models, same skew, two different models. One of them is 36 and a half inches and one is 37. So I had to make sure, thankfully before we left, we got two 37s, but now I have 46 and 46. Uh, if you include the handles, actually have 49 and 49, but with two power outlets, there and there, I'm going to be able to have my charging station and stuff set up here, um, or if I want my cutoff wheels or anything like that, like all my electrical stuff can now all just be plugged in here, and I have this whole area. Um, if I have to put my welding blanket on top of this just to make sure not to burn anything, that's fine. But, yeah. Now, the scary part. I gotta put all this in there. So, I'm gonna do that. And then, I'm not gonna bore you guys with it. I thought about it, and I even talked about doing a time lapse and stuff like that. I don't wanna bore you guys with that. I want you guys to see it once it's done. So, 
I'm gonna get started on that and we'll be back. Oh, one more thing, you guys. I don't know if I actually mentioned it yet or not. So obviously you see this, this is just paper film. All of your mats are actually under here. So yeah, this has the top one and then it kinda has all your drawer ones here. So if you just make one good slice here, you don't have to worry about damaging the others or anything like that from the front. So yeah, just a little FYI so you don't go tearing through any of your drawer inserts. So yeah. And we're back guys. So I'm gonna flip this around. Still not done completely on where I want to put everything or if it's how I want it to be or anything like that, especially the top because the top's dirty. I filled it with stuff from the floor just to get off the floor for now. Um, but yeah, I'm going to flip this around and show you guys what we got going. So where all the tools used to be, this is the little setup here. Picked up this little multi-tool holder from Harbor Freight, so I have it holding pry bars and the freakishly long screwdrivers and the little pickup tools. So, and my grease gun here on the side, just have it hanging off the handle here. Um, got a caulking gun hang, hanging from there, and a speed ratchet from there. And here is this with all of its glory. You can actually fit and reach to the backs of these ones. I used to not be able to do that in the old box. I had to shove everything forward to reach to those in the back. So, um, because it didn't actually have the height all the way that it should. Put the organizers in here for the speed wrench, uh, the 3 8 quarter and half. Um, I have a driver for any quarter inch stuff. Torque wrench, the one that's broke, I use as a breaker bar. Uh, thin kind of wrench style ratchet. And my torque wrench, it does work. My long swivels. I still need to get my small swivels because those are the only ones I have after the move. So, yeah. Got all of our Allens, our hex keys, uh, inverted hex keys, securities. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this drawer. And on the next one down here, all my wrenches, my two big common ones. So I have a 21 and then a 1 and 1 8. Got my line wrenches, uh, my camo ones that are non-ratcheting, my ratcheting metric, and some shorties slash ratcheting SAE. This one here, all my extensions, uh, a little pass-through socket set. It was missing the adapter to be able to fit a pass-through to regular style socket. When I need these, I won't ever need that. And I have everything else that doesn't require that. So I bought it and it was at a discount. So um, all of the extensions, the wobbles, uh, my little tray from here, of course, tape measure, little tray here that I could put some bits on or anything, bolts or stuff that I'm working on a vehicle. My chisels, punches, files, nut drivers, my crescents. Uh, my oil filter straps. Screwdrivers, picks, allens, and then just some pins and stuff back there. Put my little star keys or my precision set, uh, some shorties, everything along there. Master key set, hole saw set, little punch and die set, uh, impact screwdriver set, 
some hole saws, uh, just a little Ryobi drill set and bits that I picked up. Um, it's whole, so I leave it by itself in here. My electrical components, cleaners, um, some wire brushes, some electrical tape, strippers, crimpers, um, soldering guns, solder, um, electrical testers. That's pretty much this drawer. Tap and die set, strut screen, spring, bleh, strut spring compressor. Uh, little front wheel drive bearing pullers. Um, some easy outs from Irwin. And my gloves. And then my triangles. Speed squares, whatever you want to call them. And then my new diagnostic tool, my little scanner, a couple lights, my riveter down here, ball joint press, axles, axle nut I should say. Um, yeah, that's it in this one. That's the layout of this first one, guys. I don't know if you guys will like this next one, but I know I do. So a little serpentine belt kit set that I picked up from Harbor Freight. Uh, my long breakover bar with the flex head. Uh, my little bit smaller breakover bar, non-flex head, with a 32 millimeter socket on it because that's what Audi's oil filters take. So got some nut drivers, some adapter pieces to fit some sockets on, a little screwdriver set, my brushless tools, um, and a sawzall. And then this little guy I got on Christmas. So, yeah, I use it. Up next, plier drawer. Um, this is a little multi-tool. But when you fold it out, it's got pliers to the front of it. So why not be in here? A um, little quick ratchet. Lifetime warranty on that guy. Lifetime warranty on these. Um, Pittsburgh. So some snips, flush cutters. Um spark plug pullers. I need to get those warrantied out because they're missing the actual clip. But And my little uh, small pliers there. That never gets old. This is a bit drawer. Um, my full sets, uh, my partials, my little holders, my magnets, and the drivers for them. Uh, that's pretty much it in here. This next one is my little hammer, um, my body tools, um, mallet, you know, all the fun stuff I make noise with. Here's my air tools. Oh, some die grinders, rafts tools, air fittings. Some box to put some air fittings in, stuff to air the tires with. My little impacts, I got these guys on discount because they were open box as well. Um, my little performance tool, three eight, or quarter inch ratchet, that guy actually does come in handy. Uh, my little air hammer. This one's kind of more of the ones I don't reach for all the time. Uh, safety goggles are here if I need them. Flywheel turner panel pliers, some tin snips, exhaust expanders, interior trim tools, radiator clamp tool, uh, some calipers, and a little tape measure. I think I have this thing weighed down a little too much. Brake tools, other specialty tools like the little thermal gun, um, it's great if you have a rotor that's constantly rubbing and you're trying to figure out which one might be warped, stuff like that. Um, brake spring tools, uh, some fuel disconnect tools, uh, tie rod and ball joint stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much what's in here. These are the ones I still got room and stuff in, but for some of my drills, my concrete bits, uh, some of my welding rods from a welder, 
Um, my non-spill little coolant thing that I just picked up uh, is pretty cheap off of Amazon for like 17 Got some funnels in there, some crowbars, and a whole bunch of microfiber towels and application pads. So, yeah. And last but not least, my junk drawer full of all my corded tools and the one cordless tool that I really don't want to change a blade out on. And no matter which way I fit it, because I have the blade on, it doesn't fit in this top drawer. So it's down here too. But yeah, uh, my sanders, hammer drill, uh, a couple more, some rasp, some sanding pads. Um, yeah, that's, that's it so far. Uh, like I said, all these up here, um, these guys, I picked up a long time ago. I actually got my wife uh, allowed me to get those during Christmas time. So, yeah. I want to put some metal pegboard up here and actually put the tools that are in here, all this amazingness here, up on the wall. Because right now I don't have any of my three quarter inch stuff in either of these, and I do want to put them in here. Uh, I want to fill this one full of three quarter and I'll keep my couple extra long ones here but I'd like all my power tools or cordless power tools to hang up right here so that's pretty much the basic little update we have so far um, how everything's been turning out and going up here still a humbo jumbo mess so um, sorry that's just looks horrible but that's where we're at right now guys um, Definitely a lot more space than what I had in the other box because uh, a lot of people don't know there was quite a few of my uh, tools that were in totes and stuff and I when I needed them I had to dig them out so this setup for me is way better and I can't be thankful enough for being able to get these. So yeah, uh, hopefully you guys like it. Hopefully you guys will know how much organization is meaningful. And... Hmm. I feel like there was something else I was going to update you guys on. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs>